Yeah, sometime between uh, midnight and 4 a.m. East Coast time. Uh, that'd be the morning, but for Sky Sky, a win here and California plays on. They would come back, play Saturday, win on Saturday. They would play for this year's Little League World Series championship. All right, we're all right. Here we go. All right, him baby. Here we go, him baby. Skylar Vincent to Caleb Harden. First pitch. Track number one underway. Dominic Dolia, Gibson Turner, Isaac Mora, Levi Cornett from third to first on the infield. Set the outfield in a moment. On the next one, on the ground, a second. Isaac Mora fields and a nifty play. One man down. Elias Emerson's in left, Xavier Navarro in center, Brandon Perez in right, Andrew Naruki behind the plate. California team, a lot like Hawaii, their first game, they were competitive in that regional championship game. They don't generally make mistakes. They hit the heck out of it. Very, very good baseball team from Torrance, California, led by Javier Chavez. And Sky Sky throwing a lot of strikes. Harden the ground ball, and here's Levi Smith, the first baseman. Two. California in good shape when it comes to pitching. Gibson Turner will be eligible on Saturday if they get there. And this has popped up right field. Brandon Perez coming out. Second baseman called it. Good job by Perez to call Isaac Mora off it. And there are two down. That was close. But eventually the voice of Brandon Perez carried the day. Loud and repeat. Especially, we've talked about this. There's not 15,000 fans here, but when you have 250 of your family and friends, it gets loud. you got to be loud and communicate. Here's J.J. Vogel, three-hitter. He fouls one off as the strike zone continues to get pounded by Skylar Vincent. J.J. Vogel, he's two of nine, 222 average. He's got five runs batted in. He does have a homer. Six pitches, six strikes, six for seven. Outfield respecting the three hitter. They are deep, with the exception of the right fielder. Ooh, that's close, a little high. You hear the home plate umpire say that's up. So we go two and one. Winner gets South Dakota. And they'll be pitching without Gavin Weir. That's going to get off the screen down the first base side. Two balls, two strikes. Love the no batting gloves. That was the best. And we talked about this earlier. Kids get so much gear, so much fun stuff. But J.J. Vogel not giving in. Old school. Two balls, two Feel strikes. The bat. All four guys. Talked about the Cincinnati Reds and the love affair this team has with them. George Foster, part of the great Big Red Machine family, friend with J.J. Vogel. Oh, that's up, that's up, that's up. He'll draw the walk on a close pitch. Couple of close pitches there for Skyler Vincent. Don't go his way. And the base runner the first on a walk. Here's big chance Rutherford, chance to help his own cause. He'll be on the mound for Ohio. Strike one. Strike two, breaking pitch in there. Rutherford, 5'9", 140. Goes to Brookwood Elementary. Brian rounds behind the plate. Good luck at it. Rounds punched up. Rutherford, he'll go to the bump when we come back. Ohio can't score a run in the first. California coming to the plate when we come back to Lomity on a Thursday night. Skies, we're going to have some postcard type shots from Lomity as this night rolls on. Torrance, California, rolling to the plate here in the bottom of the first. Winner of the Tom Seaver title game, Saturday 12.30, they'll take on South Dakota. California, Torrance. You're a California girl, why don't you give us a little uh, breakdown of Torrance, California. Where'd it go? It's 20 miles south, beautiful town of L.A. 
Got a population 145,492. Childhood home of Quentin Tarantino. Oh, the big Q. All right, from the big Q to the big C. California Torrance. Let's meet the kids before they come to the plate. <laughs> My name is Xavier Navarro. Favorite actor is Dwayne Johnson. My name is Isaac Moore. My favorite baseball player is Javier Baez. My name is Levi Cornette, and my favorite food is ribs. My name is Kaiser Harrison, and my favorite baseball team is the LA Dodgers. My name is Brandon Perez, and my favorite dessert is mint chocolate chip ice cream. My name is Skylar Vincent, and my favorite baseball team is San Diego Padres. My name is Gavin Crew, and my favorite baseball player is Bryce Harper. My name is Andrew Nuruki, and my favorite food is barbecue chicken pizza. My name is Dominic Golia, and my favorite actor is Will Ferrell. My name is Gibson Turner, and my favorite player is Uncle Justin, Justin Turner. My name is Dice Miyake, and my favorite food is steak. My name is Elias Hermson, and my favorite player is Mike Trout. My name is Grant Hayes, and my favorite food is pepperoni pizza. My name is Christian Chavez, and my favorite actor is Steve Carell. Who doesn't love Steve Carell? Our buddy Tim Kirchin was here. He has been compared to Steve Carell. Carellish? A little Carellish, yes. Similar. I would agree. Good call there. Here's Javier Chavez. He loves this. He's very enamored with the idea that he's here with his son. Got a couple of other children. Spends a lot of time with him. Football guy said he'd rather, rather hit somebody than hit a baseball. Said his son's a little more, a little more passive that way, and he loves the game of baseball. So he's on the field tonight. We're gonna look at Chance Rutherford. Anthony Rizzo's his guy. He's been to Hawaii. He wants to be a pro athlete. And there you go. Good start. Strike one to Xavier Navarro, the center fielder. Skateboarding on the side. Side hustle, a little yeah. skateboard. Think about multi-sport athlete. That's growing and growing. Downhill skiers, skateboarders. X is two for nine in the Little League World Series. A couple of walks. And he plays a good center field. In at third is Maddox Jones. Next one misses down and away. Two balls, one strike. His grandma, big influence in his life. Her biggest advice before coming here? Don't get in trouble. Smart. <laughs> Follow that advice, that'll work. Your whole life. Kind of stands up anywhere. Here's Grandma. And that's what Xavier Navarro wanted to do. You don't see this very often. Chance Rutherford on the mound throwing with turfs on. No spikes out there. Makes it a lot tougher, especially it, you got clay mounds here, which you don't have clay mounds in a lot of Little League fields across the country, and so the holes are a lot smaller. It's tougher to get that footing. Surprised that he doesn't want a pair of spikes make it a little bit easier. That one gets past the catcher, Noah Davidson, and Navarro takes a big turn at second base. California in business early. Runner at second, nobody out. As Brandon Perez watched ball one sail by him. interesting Ohio's used six different pitchers before here and not Rutherford once they have guys eligible next pitch in there for a strike now, JJ Vogel's been their dominant pitcher he's not eligible some of their other pitchers have given up a lot of runs so they're going with chance so you're saying there's a chance they're taking a chance Vogel is in right field Perez squares to bunt, pulls it back. That's poured down the middle. Nobody's at third base. Almost well a plan play by California. Draw the infield in, vacate third base. Well done right there for Xavier just to notice it and recognize that the third base can vacate. It, I think it's planned because it was a, a show bunt, fake bunt. What that does, it pulls the third baseman in. Now you're just racing the shortstop. Right. Yeah, it, it is. It's totally planned. It's just whether or not the shortstop breaks, and that's what he did. One and two to Perez. And that's going to get to the screen down the left field. Foul line, Caleb Harden gave chase over there. Outfield's good. We watched him take infield and outfield and a really good fielding outfield with good arms. You were doing Sports Center, did you watch? Yeah. Or you were back? Yeah, I did. I kind of went back and forth. Run up here, run back there. Just kind of get both. Pretty good. Yeah. You're always seeing him running. That's steps. definitely it's called steps. Getting his, getting his steps in.
Ball, ball, ball. Rutherford thought he had strike three, but he did not. Two balls, two strikes. Just a look of utter confusion. The late Kobe Bryant, of course, wrote a book, and Grant had spent some time reading that. He said he was into the perspectives that Kobe wrote about going up against certain players, also the work ethic that was written about in the book. So he tries to take from that book the work ethic, but also the ability that Kobe always demonstrated to have fun and enjoy the game. That one gets kicked, and wow, no read from Xavier Navarro. So he stays at third. Yeah, yeah, we couldn't see it, so it's okay. That's smart. That's smart. Don't worry smart. about it. We're going to score anyways. That was good. Nobody out. No reason to take a chance right there if you're not certain of it. And the ball that goes to that direction, in, in his eye, it's straight in front of him. It's hard to tell how deep that was, so he stayed put. So a 3-2 on the way. And this one fielded by the pitcher. He looks Navarro back. Nice job. Chance Rutherford big out on a big 3-2 pitch. Here comes Gibson Turner. Gibson Turner, 333 average. She's got four RBIs, a couple of doubles. And the outfield respects him. They all move back a few. Crew Brown's terrific in center field. Good catch right on the corner to Turner. We're a big Dodger fan, of course, Torrance, California. Right down the road. His parents named him after Kirk Gibson. Kirk Gibson. Gibby is his nickname, 5'7", a buck 30. Lead on that one. No balls, two strikes. He's a quarterback on the football team. He only likes to throw touchdown passes, so they get like inside the 30. He's throwing Hail Marys to everybody. <laughs> I'm putting it one up, you go you. get it. For you. No checking down. We're just going up top. Ball up. That's a one ball, two strike count. About a couple of weeks ago, he took a trip to Fenway Park. Got a big tour of Fenway. Learned all about the history. And now he's at Lomity. It's not a bad, not a bad double in a couple of weeks. Lays off that. So many pitchers throw high velocity here. It's apparent early on. That's not Rutherford's forte. He needs to get you to chase, put the ball in play. Foul back. They have fouled off several two-strike pitches. Five foul balls in all for this team from California. As we progress later in this tournament, the hitters just get better because they've seen everybody. <laughs> A lot of these teams, this California team facing Gavin Weir. I know we've said it, but everything else. A little bit easier to foul off. Ball. Three balls, two strikes. The long legacy of Torrance Little League. Ollie, Gibson's dad, played for Torrance. And here we are now watching your 12 year old son do the same thing. Ball's left. Two walks in the inning, and here comes Gibson. Kent Coomer. You're low. You're low. You can't keep on complaining. He's low. He's not going to call it. You can't complain about it. He's not going to call it. So we just got to pitch where he's going to call it. He's giving you outside corner. He's giving you four inches. All right? Just get it up a little bit on the outside corner. That's all. All right? Concentrate everything. Clear your head. Do like this. Just play. Be smart here. We're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go 22. All right. No, 21. Listen, you catch it. Okay. As soon as you catch it, got me. Let's get that. So an early read on umpire Brian Rounds not giving the pitch down. So we're gonna focus a little bit more on the outside corner, which from that vantage point is not easy to distinguish the outside strike, given he's standing down at third baseline. But it's been pretty accurate. Yeah. Good read. Andrew Naruki. Runner goes. They'll throw it back to the pitcher. He missed it. It snuck all the way to the second baseman. They caught a big break there. Looks like Rutherford took his eye off the ball. He nearly got beamed by it. 
But now you got runners at second and third. And it's hard to see that you get in the outside corner from there. We go back inside. Now we're ahead 0-2, pitching up a little bit now. Can we get that one? That's a good spot to live. So Navarro's at third, Turner at second. One down just underway, bottom one late on that pitch. But a foul ball, another two-strike foul for California. Actually, impressive. He fell that off. I mean, he was like not moving, not moving, not moving. Shoot. It's going to be strike three. Catcher was almost catching it. Five of their six foul balls have come on these two strike efforts. That one good is one. good pitch. A little slider away. Naruki gone and a huge second out for Chance. Rutherford for a strikeout. And he's been a great hitter for him, too. Andrew Naruki has. So it's a breaking ball that starts on the outside part of the plate and just keeps on going. Velocity difference gets Naruki a little bit out front. The movement takes it off the plate. Second and third, one out. That's the time you want the swing and miss for the strikeout. He got it. Good spot right there for Chance Rutherford to get his first strike out of the game. Gage Maggard's at second base. Levi Smith at first. Got to be ready here with Levi Cornett. He's turned on a few already. Strike number one. So since Ken Coomer's come out, Chance Rutherford's been pounding the strike zone. And this one a flare into left. Caleb Harden all over it. They'll get out of it. They will strand two. We'll come back in a 0-0 game. Stay tuned to see how T-Mobile is helping little leaguers across the country to stay in the game. All right, quiet on set. Hi, my name is Kai Carlson, and my favorite food is Beck. Oh, my God. I forgot. OK, I forgot what I was going to say. You're killing me, Smalls. I mean, I'm the ping pong champion. I got the best flow on the team. One more time. What? Great look. There you go. Yes. Dog day afternoon, baby. Here we go. Yes. Go get it. It's got an autograph on it. Oh, yeah. It's got an autograph on it. That is a good looking <laughs> dog right there. Not gonna have an autograph for much longer. <laughs> Love that. We're celebrating dogs. We always celebrate dogs. Skyler Vincent throws the first pitch, and the mad dog, Maddox Jones, fouls it off down the right field line. One of our good friends, ESPN guy Steve Ackles watching. Very impressed with your football acumen, KP. Yeah, I mean, just immediately went to a check down right there. That's, that's huge football knowledge. No doubt. Talk Maddox. about that in the option. Smothered over there. Who's going to get it? Nice That's job. Right. Isaac Mora buried it. Levi Cornett got back to first base to get Maddox Jones. Seen Isaac Mora make plays like this a few times during this tournament. He, he shaded to that side anyway. So we shade a little bit closer to first base. Two steps, dives into the outfield grass, then knows he's got plenty of time. You don't need to get on your feet from there. He knows he's got enough arm, flips it over to first. It's a good read by Levi Cornett, too. Say. We get a lot of first base, and we'll yep. keep yes. going, and then we'll Tip have it. first base empty. He went back. Good job. Here's another one, a lot easier play, and Mora. We don't love the second baseman of the Little League World Series. We've got to talk, because they are outstanding. Every year, year in, year out, we make a big deal out of catchers, pitchers, no-no shortstops. Give me the second baseman all the time. Give me Dustin Pedroia all day long. I'll get my team. We'll take on your guys. Gage Maggard. Ball's out. out. A rare miss on the first pitch from Skyler Vincent. He has thrown seven first pitches and six of them strikes. That's better. One ball, one strike. Alfield playing very shallow. Xavier Navarro like a fifth infielder. He keeps creeping, too. <laughs> See his feet moving? It's a bounce pass and unable to field it as Andrew Naruki. Who got there? All the ponies, unicorns. Good food. Good and You is would you see saying? a unicorn and think it's food. It appeared that way. Unicorns can be edible. You never know. Those don't look like they are. I'd probably stay away from those going in the mouth. <laughs> That's a strike. Two balls, two strikes. A little high. 
Got the call. Crowd fired up here on a Thursday night. <laughs> yeah, they are. Almost 100 degrees today. Mm, late on that one. Vincent, real good inning. He's faced seven. He goes one, two, three in the second. person to get us going. I don't care what the scoreboard reads. Look at me, look at me. Battle till the end here, right? Show your character. Hey, but guess what? You're pitching like a rock star, it doesn't matter. Mud, rain, doesn't matter. Give me one tough cookie. <laughs> Good job, bro. Good job. I love you, man. You don't love me no more? <laughs> listen, the whole world wants to see you pitch Sunday. Listen to me, listen to me. You're not coming out of this game. You're gonna shove it right down. Maybe they're listening to us right now. Yo, what's up? <laughs> when you walk off this field, hold your head up high. I promise you, you will remember this forever, and so will I. I got all confidence in the world that you're going to throw a gem on Sunday. I got all confidence in the world that the rest of this pitching staff is going to come in and do the job. Okay? You be my horse right now, give me four more outs, and then you hit me a bunch of home runs the rest of the way out. You understand? Let's go right now. Yes, sir. Let's go. I'm ready to play. Let's go. Mighty I mean, Case even started to move up there. He's been frozen for so long, he started to move. You want to play Little League? It's simple. Visit playlittleleague.org, enter your address, find a Little League program near you. All right, sit it on down because the game's about to start. We just had some fun there in the stands. Bottom two, Dominic Galea, Skyler Vincent, Elias Emerson. That one misses. Five substitute players for each team, so they'll all get at least one at bat. Guy out there on the mound. 5'9, 140. And he's uh, got a two strike count now. Two balls, two strikes on the swing and miss by Galea. I wonder if there's a little carryover effect from the Gavin Weir performance. California's 0 for their last 24. Still early, especially the at bats. I mean, I like the two strike approach. The hits might not have fallen. They've had two walks, two runners on. Got it. 3 2. That's a big strikeout. That's his second, Julie. Hey, I just want to I want to set this the record straight because we're with Chance's parents, Leanne and Wes. And one of the things Leanne he said in his questionnaire was jokingly that you were a bad luck charm at three and one regardless of what happens tonight mom you are not a bad luck charm that's right i'm not i miss one game and he teases me now but i'm not yes. wes how you doing over here i know you coached him you're a little tense i can imagine how that is when your son is pitching i'm a little worried for you uh, i'll be all right he's uh you know, they, they uh, his regular season, one of his other coaches on the regular season team calls him Captain Cool, mainly because this stuff doesn't bother him. It bugs, well, bugs the Jesus out of me, but <laughs> it, it, it doesn't bother him at all. He's just here to do a job, and he's just going to do it and hope his defense is back there for him, and maybe the umpire is going to start being more a little more consistent for him. Uh, speaking of umpires, I heard one time you got behind him when he was at bat at the plate. How did that go? Did you like that setup? Uh -huh. I've done this. Great segue, by you. I, I may have done this a time or two before. Um, you know, so I, I've umpired for 20 years, high school, a uh, little bit of lower level college, little league, obviously. And uh, part of, you know, coaching in our little league is you take turns umpiring other teams' games. And last year, I was, uh, it was my turn to umpire. Sorry, I got a little loud here. He just struck another kid out. Um, my turn to umpire, the, one of the teams that was playing that night didn't have, uh, didn't have nine players, so with it being a COVID year and stuff like that, they allowed him to fill in. And uh, he had a perfect strike three right down the middle. He just stared at it. All these other parents are watching, and they're expecting me to ring him up big time, do like a Lesley Nielsen you know, dance, but I was more stunned that he looked one perfectly. 
I, I will say this is one of one of the only times he never ever said a word about the umpire strike zone on the way home whenever I got on him about striking out looking. How big was that strike zone out here? Hey, look, it was the same size for both same size for both teams. It was consistent. It was a good little league strike zone. All right. Don't forget to breathe. All right? He's got this. <laughs> I'm trying. All right. All right. Enjoy the game. Thank you. All right, Julie, thank you, and thank you to Wes. That one's down. Julie often will ask the Little Leaguers questions, and she will encourage them for multiple word answers. Not a problem with Wes. He was, he was a storyteller. What's wrong with carrying a half inning? <laughs> exactly right. And he wins two strikeouts there, Galea and Skyler Vincent. That's the beauty, though, isn't it? 12 year olds, like the parents are up there. They're gripping, they're biting nails, they're screaming, can't watch these kids. Like, whatever. Been there, done that. That's what's been awesome about all the sounds. We heard some of them coming into the inning. <laughs> Coach is trying to talk, get him in the dugout, and he's like rubbing his lips together. <laughs> funny noises. Like, just, it's the beauty of the age. That missed in a good walk. Elias Emerson goes to first. That's my son, Noah. And that? We call that the green light effect. Green light's the debit card for kids with an app that teaches them how to earn and manage money. Now Noah's saving more than he's spending. Join more than 3 million parents and kids at greenlightcard.com. Second baseman Isaac Moore already squared the bunt. Two outs here. Didn't pull it back until the very end. He's the number nine hitter in the order for Torrance, California. He's got to be just taking one here. Two outs. I don't know if there's any way you're going to square that early if you're actually going to bunt. Ball, it's low. Good fielder. Number nine hole hitters come through a lot this summer for this team. That's the inside. And a lot of times, although generally not at this level, you'll see a kid square to bunt, try to get in the head of the pitcher. Well, you'll see him kind of wiggle it around. Kind of get in the head of the catcher. <laughs> Isaac went deep this summer, and it was his first home run, and it came against his cousin, which he described as pretty cool. We're still waiting to hear what his cousin thought of that. Look out. Three balls, two strikes down to second. There's the throw, and it is offline, stolen base for Elias Emerson. Talk about backside. I mean, this is bring it around. <laughs> I don't mind that swing. 3 1. <laughs> I'm going to get cheated through. I like it. Yes, yes, yes he yes, went, yes. he said. That's a strikeout. Chance Rutherford's doing a good job. And having mom in the stands is a good thing. Strikeout number four. Welcome back. ESPN's coverage of the Little League World Series presented by T-Mobile. Little League wants to extend a special thank you. Its official sponsors, Ballpark Buns and Rolls, and New Era Cap to help maintain the strength and leadership of this Little League program. Little League would also like to thank its dedicated volunteers they make the program a special experience for millions of children. What a night. That little storm roll through here got really windy. Tarp was blowing around. Having a catch out in right field. Kevin Degani was here doing sports center. He blew all the way over to Volunteer Stadium. Having a what? I just said that because it bothers you. Having a catch. Yeah, no one ever said that. Playing catch. Yeah. What they say, play catch. Having a catch said no one ever. <laughs> I just said it. You and Costner, that's it. Me and Kev. Hang on, daughter, hang on. Noah Davidson has gone out to warm up in the Ohio bullpen. He will be caught by Tyler Dongus, who's out there as well. 15. We're waiting, locked out. Waiting for that door to locked open. Locked out. He doesn't know the code. Forgot the code. It's in. It's in his jacket. You got to go back and get it. Knock knock. Oh, there's the code. Oh, wide yep, open. Just pull. <laughs> <laughs> code is pull. And we forgot to latch it. Noah. Knock, knock. Got to latch the gate. Yep. We're fine. 
good catch. Release the hounds. Here comes Cooper Clay, Crew Brown. And then back to the top. Ball throw. Sky Sky's been very good. We don't have a hit in the game yet as we head to the top of the third. Two balls, one strike. The Great Lakes region runner-up, Ohio. On the corner, and he moved it in, and now out. A little different feel to tonight's game compared to some of the other ones where the kids were very aggressive in the batter's box, being a little more patient tonight. Right here. Off of Cooper Clay's foot. Coop's got a batting cage at home. He's in there every day. Wouldn't you be? It's like yeah. my dream as a kid. I want a batting cage. Back up the middle, shortstop Gibson Turner. Got him, good arm. He's a good pitcher, and we see he can play shortstop as well. Cooper Clay retired, 6-3. That's what gets lost in that South Dakota game. Gavin Weir was so good, so was Gibson Turner. That was a one-nothing game. Yeah. He threw great, and you could see the arm strength coming across right there. Even kind of got on the opposite side of his body. Had to reach all the way back and just enough time to make the transfer and fired across. Crew Brown will not swing it. That one it goes all the way to the backstop. Five siblings, all brothers for the crouton. Here it is. Big LeBron fan. A lot of LeBron fans here. Likes the Lakers too. He's a point guard and shooting guard in basketball. And now he's got a good eye. They've swung 10 times. That's it. I almost feel like it's a prerequisite to play Little League Baseball. you got to be a multi-sport athlete. So we've seen so many. So many different sports. So huge. Especially at this age. Play them all. Bowdy Crouton's mom, I'm not sure if you knew this, probably did. Shannon is a high school soccer coach. A little soccer convo going. There goes Julie. He's running across the stadium. On the oh, ground. Ravi. Oh, look out. Soccer coach, Jules. Ravi. Yeah. I've been talking to her all week. We've been, that. we've been talking shop. In fact, crew, when I went down to the dugout pregame, and I said, oh, you, your mom's a soccer player. I used to be a soccer player, and he's like, my mom could totally take you. Whoa. <laughs> Crouton <laughs> throws just like gauntlet. First response. My mom could totally, I was like, she probably could, looking at her. Oh, we're going to go find the crew family. This is an interesting family. I'm going to track them down tonight. All right, well, he's on board, and here's Caleb Harden. We go hit there for Crew Brown, so the first hit of the night. Number nine hitter, and now Harden, who's had a lot of hits at the Little League World Series. 0 oh for 1. Good pitch. Fastball on the inside corner. Vincent, not afraid to come inside. No, that one's going to work, too. If you can stay there, you'll see a lot of guys that can command the fastball inside. Ball flow. Ball hit it, Corner. Good read by Ken Coomer, manager of Ohio. This is an umpire that will give you the calls on the corners. We've cleared the bullpen. We're going three wide. And there is the manager, Ken Coomer. What? Deep love of baseball for Ken. All the managers. This one is going to be fielded by Coomer, who will throw lefty. Nice play. Got the runner at first as Vincent retrieves. Stay tight. Got to be patient. Boy, do you got to be patient. 2-2. Two -two. Another foul ball.
Good look. Look at that front foot right up on the plate. Good pitch. Again away. Harden strikes out. He's 0 for 2. Three strikeouts now for Skyler Vincent, and he has hammered that strike zone tonight. Yeah, look at location during the course of this at bat, too. They're a fastball right on the inside corner. And then that one is maybe just a little bit off of the outside corner. So forcing the hitter to recognize both sides of the plate that time expanded the zone a little. And tied to Levi Smith, 12 year old, 5 3, buck 15, the Ross Middle School. It's outside of Cincinnati. Takes it off his gold chain, gives it to his mom to wear during the game. That's his good luck move. That's a foul ball. You got this, Bob. Mom Carey, yes, sir. lieutenant in the Butler County Sheriff's Office. Dad Steven alongside, rooting on Levi all summer long. Here you go. That's high. It's a great move at first base, too, by Crew Brown. Everything is routine. Ball crosses the plate. He will take three steps hard to the right and then retreat back. That one is laced, and that's going to get down into left field. Good hard hit, and the ball thrown back in gets away, but no advancement from Crew Brown. Levi Smith about face. Now you got two aboard, and here comes J.J. Vogel. Nice job on an inside pitch. Talked about Vincent not being afraid to get inside. Well, Levi Smith not being afraid to get barrel on a pitch in on his hands. Hits it really hard on the life left field. Big chance here for Ohio with the right fielder up. Ball, Ball one. Oh, that was framed by Andrew Naruki. Oh. Not sure that got much of the plate. His glove eventually came back over it. How about where he's sitting on a 1 0 pitch? And this is recognizing the Vogel's been the one that's done a lot of the offensive damage. Ha! Nice back with a breaking ball. He's yep. up 1 and 2. Just stay there. I would think they're going to stay away. I think the outfield may want to play a little bit deeper against JJ. Across the board, they're in. Oh, he gets that call, strike three. All three of those were in the same vicinity. J.J. Vogel, he got a line in the water. He wouldn't fish, though. Those eyes on the outside part of the plate. This is exactly the way they wanted to stay. Strikeout for Skyler Vincent, his fourth of the game, still scores. Welcome back to Little League World Series. I found in the stands Xavier Navarro, who's up to bat first, his grandma, Evelyn. And Evelyn, I don't know if you know this, but I found in the questionnaire when Xavier was asked if he wins the lottery, who would he give his money to? And of course, everyone's like, Lamborghini, I'm going to buy a baseball field. There, he said, I want to give my money to my grandparents because they have taken care of me. And I want to take care of them. Tell me more about that. That's Xavier, as, even as the coach will tell you, his heart is bigger than his chest. He's just an amazing kid. Everybody just has to take a minute to get to know him, and he will take care of them forever. And you have not only taken care of Xavier, but his two older brothers as well, right? So you have all three boys. That's correct. Myself and my husband, yes. And they are at home watching this. you want to give them a little shout out? Hi. <laughs> we know and bring him good luck. <laughs> yes, we love him so much. We're so proud, so proud. I, I know you had a moment when you thought he was hit on the pitcher's mound in a game recently, uh, and your reaction to that was what? Because I know husband at home was also saying something. Yes, I said, oh my God, I hear my husband's voice from 3,000 miles away because he broke his orbital bone at a practice earlier in the season and my husband wanted him to wear this big grill across his face. I'm like, it's okay, Xavier, you can just wear what everybody else wears. <laughs> so I had to eat my words a little bit. <laughs> but he was fine. He got up. Fine. He was happy. fine. He knew. He knew what me and Papa were thinking. <laughs> so, and that's why I got up laughing. Well, wonderful to see you out here watching him and supporting him. Thank you so much. We're having a great time. Wonderful. How lucky is Xavier to have Evelyn and Grandpa Gerald back at home. 
Looks like we're going to have a pitching change. Rutherford has reached the 51 pitch count. So he's moving to the outfield. Coach Coomer's got the baseball. He's looking to hand it to somebody. We'll see who when we come back to Lomity and the Little League World Series. Welcome back, everybody. Carl Ravitch, Jessica Mendoza, Kyle Peterson, and Julie Fowdy doing the interviews for us. Really, Fowdy's weak. When you really yep. break it all down, you know, we have top five lists. Sometimes we'll do the top ten plays. You could absolutely do a top ten Fowdy list from the Little League World Series. I think she actually did that yeah, on SportsCenter today. Her own, because I said, yeah, is just, it the top five uh, Fowdy list? And she was, said, no, I think it's the plays list. I think no, I think it was just, list. yeah. Was this, number one the cheer that she did with the South Dakota oh, team? No, 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 no. Like number one was nostril oh. balloons. Yeah, balloons. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We got, we got, it's uh, got to be that. Ravi, no. you're next. We got Kevin no. Gandhi on no. SportsCenter yep. today. Yeah, I crushed it. him. I'm going to crush everyone because I cannot you, crush you. you yeah, Iliana. you didn't yesterday. No. That didn't happen exactly, yesterday. Exactly. You know why you crush people doing that? Because nobody really wants to do that. You're <laughs> no, willing to do that. Not true. It's going to become a national craze. The Jess, blowing up a balloon with your Jess nostril. I'm in. Mean, totally in. But you totally got to tell me in. the technique because you finally did it. I mean, you failed, then I you know, learned. And that's how you, that's how the whole process. Gro growth mindset. Growth we'll get Raph. We'll get him. <laughs> no, no we won't. <laughs> Well, we return to action now. And the big fella has got a bat in his hand now for California. So Noah Davidson comes on. And it is Grant Hayes. He's got a couple of bombs. Just a dangerous hitter. They bring him up with a man on first. Scoreless game, bottom three. So Davidson comes in. He figures he's going to look at Brandon Perez. And the first guy he sees is 5'8", 175-pound. All right. I didn't know that Grant was huh. still out there. All right. It's a little different feel. Look at this guy. This guy's got both of California's home runs here. Ball two sides. And I love the role. I mean, we've seen so many different players do different things coming in, especially here. I mean, saw Michigan earlier today. They had, gosh, anyone they brought the bench is going to get hits. But Grant Hayes understanding he doesn't get the what? start very often, but he comes in, usually gets the big hits when asked. Very quiet at the plate. 1-0. Yeah. Mm, big swing. That's not quiet. No, but his feet are quiet. His body's quiet. There's a little Miguel the Cabrera the there in him. And he does swing with an uppercut. He likes to elevate. His favorite player, Javier Baez, because he loves the swag. That's Even his the dad. The open stance, right, of Javier right there. Ball to the side. A lot more quiet. He likes to get a lot of wiggles in before he gets his swing down. And Julie Fowdy interviewed Grant Hayes' dad before the game. He said, you know, he does a stare down afterwards. And it's, oh, that's, that's him doing his swag stuff. <laughs> Two balls, two strikes. Hard no matter what age, come off the bench. No batting cages to go warm up in. Grab a bat and just go. Two balls, two strikes. Got him with a fastball and good job pitching from Noah Davidson. He went breaking pitch, breaking pitch, cheddar. Yeah, I think, I think he surprised him with that last one. I think he was looking for a breaking ball. It's seen a few of them on that outside part of the plate. It's elevated and up in the zone, but it's a fastball and absolutely catches a piece of the plate. And I think he knew it right then, but had a thought that Hayes was looking for something other than the fastball and surprised him with that pitch. Now Gibson Turner set up outside for the three hitter. There's that spinner, and he throws that over for a strike. So Noah. Davidson on relief and looking good here early. And that is ripped into the left field corner. Fielded over there, falling down and now going to third. Navarro, he's in there safe. Turner to second. You have to see that one yourself. Chance Rutherford picked it up, but then he slipped, and Navarro just took off from second to third. You can tell, good hitter. Look at the location of this. This is off the plate inside. This is a great pitch. 
even better hit because you can get your hands to something, stay inside of it. This is what happens. You don't pull it down the line. You don't get jammed, but you're able to get barrel on something that's actually a pitcher's pitch. Opson, op <laughs> awesome job by Gibson Turner. Now Naruki, he's the cleanup hitter, and that first pitch has been a breaking ball in there, strike one. So Navarro now at third base. He was at third base in the first inning and did not score. One down. MO so far for Noah has been breaking pitch, get ahead, breaking pitch, and then he tends to throw a fastball. Didn't work against Turner. He turned it around. See what happens here, 0 2. Fastball, a little low though. One ball, two strikes. We haven't gotten this far in at a bat, so now what do you do? On the mound? Breaking ball off the plate. It was a breaking pitch, and he got him. Big strikeout, second strikeout for Noah Davidson. He's working through the middle of this California order. And he's comfortable throwing this one. I mean, this breaking ball, he's thrown into different spots. This time throws it into two strike counts to try to get the swing and miss. He's stolen a few strikes with it, but he's consistently on that glove side of the plate. So away to the right-handers, into the left-handers. Two big outs since coming into this ball game. Who's going to come up with a hit here for California? Levi Cornette bats. And he is robbed by the shortstop, but he can't make the throw. Oh, what an effort by Cooper Clay to glove it. But it's an infield single and a 1-0 lead as Navarro touches home. What an effort by Cooper Clay. You know, Timmy said this earlier this week, that a web jam doesn't always mean that it's an out. And that would qualify right here because Cooper Clay goes backhand, keeps his ball. If this ball goes into left, another run scores. But instead, he goes... Full extensions, sunglasses flying, throws from the knees. Not enough time to get the hitter, and it's an RBI right there for Levi Cornette, but still a great job of Cooper Clay keeping that ball in the infield, saving a run. Cornette jumped on the first pitch. Kaishu Harrison off the bench. He squares, everybody's moving. That's in there. And now stealing second base without a throw is Cornette. I'll tell you that, if you see that movement, I'd do that again. Squared to bunt, the third baseman charged. Cooper Clay, the shortstop, was covering third base. The entire left side of the infield is wide open if they want. California breaks through first here in the bottom of the third. Lead at one to nothing. Three hits for California, just two for Ohio. And then the 1-1 one -one with runners at second and third. Breaking pitch is outside. Two balls and a strike. Saw them in the regional, and Harrison and anybody else off the bench show the ability to put the bat on the ball and hit it with some authority. Stares at one down the middle, two balls and two strikes. And he didn't get out of here with just giving up one. That would feel like a victory for Ohio. the middle that's down that's going to bring in another run Turner and held at third base as the throw comes in RBI single and Kaishu Harrison off the bench delivers it's 2-0 California they all can hit Kyle yeah and this time he hit a breaking ball Breaking ball that just kind of hangs up in the zone and a great job of staying up that just using the middle of the field, Jess, and this California team, the offense is starting to roll. First and third. We'll see if Harrison takes off from first like they've done tonight. Here he goes. And again, there'll be no throw. So they let that runner go down a second. There are two outs. He felt comfortable with that. Maddox Jones can throw him out, and that'll ball. be the inning. Hey. But they don't do it. And Christian Chavez oh. bats for California. Another one of the substitute players, the son of manager Javier. Ball. That's inside. One ball, one strike. Yeah. 
Levi Cornett, RBI. He's down at third base. I shoot Harrison off the bench, single, and an RBI. Good eye, two balls and a strike. Chavi, whose name you can hear being enchanted in the background. And he's got a 3 1 count now. 5 1, 143. Not going well for the Ohio side. Down two zips, second and third, two down, and a 3 1 count to Christian Chavez. Yep, three and two. Looks like he was taking. Another big pitch in this game for Noah Richardson. Davidson. Popped up. Might be playable given Chase. Oh, just off the glove of Maddox Jones. Not familiar with the foul territory over here, and it just went off the end of his glove, so another chance for Chavez. Long way to go, too. He's feeling the wall, and that's why he pulls up just a little bit early. Okay. Incredible catch. Stop the glove. 3-2, the umpire points to the pitcher, and Noah Davidson delivers. Got him there, good fastball. They will strand two. Woo. All right, we're still in it. We're okay. End of three, two nothing. California leading Ohio. I'm just taking my sunset cruise. I don't think we've officially introduced our swagger wagon. I'm going to give the people what they want to hear. Oh, good. Right? It's a hair report. What are we going to name the golf cart? Half cart, the bandwagon. Helmet thing. Let's get fired up. We are Rain machine. This is happening. One, two, three. You're getting it's, laughed. It's Bob. over. <laughs> Get I gotta go to the other nostril. No, we're good. Get your ice cream here. There you go, buddy. Many parents want some ice cream. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jimmy, were you talking about these burgers you wanted to eat? <laughs> The first night that he was here, he um, sent me a text and then he FaceTimed me and he's like, Mom, this is paradise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be your basket. Let's go. Let's have some fun out here. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh, I missed it. That's my bad. Go on. Oh, yes, I hear it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's the bike. Oh, that was a little high. All she does oh, is uh, have fun oh, on the hill. Nobody oh, better oh, at yes. her job than Julie Funner. That is a oh, former yes. two-time oh, World oh, Cup yeah. champion, two-time oh, yeah. gold medalist, <laughs> longtime captain, Olympic soccer team. <laughs> You tell me what you're more comfortable doing, Fadi. You like it here better or on a pitch? Oh, here. For I sure. think so. Mine is no Come doubt. on. Is that the question? <laughs> <laughs> it is paradise, isn't it? Well, you've embraced All it. All because you're... of Mitch Hummer next to me. Yeah, He's you the man. and Mitch are a good yep. team. You guys are great at yeah, this. Yeah, he is the man. I liked it. I mean, even though Julie's been coming here for years and she just had her own highlight reel, she still wears a name tag. <laughs> now, what is that you about, You wouldn't think Julie? that would be the case, what but she still that? wears a name tag. I'm so happy you asked. Um, I was at the Kiwanis Club luncheon. I'm a dues-paying member of Williamsport Kiwanis Club. Okay. Where were you two? Three? Where were you three today? I didn't get an invite. I didn't even know this existed. I was preparing. I like the fact that it shows that you're from right here in Williamsport. Yeah. Congratulations. I, I, we also know this. Uh, on the list of preference of people to come, we rank two, three, and four in any order. Yep. <laughs> they don't want to see us. Nope. So keep the name oh, tag because you're going to need it again next year. Yes, they're fantastic. They feel the same way about you. What was it like there? When what goes on at the Kiwanis Club luncheon at Williamsport? Oh, you, you sing uh, "Take Me Out to the Ball Game." Really? Of course. Yes, yeah. we sing that. Uh, we do the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, Johnny Boy, who's been doing this for I don't know how many years. Johnny Boy's my guy. Uh, you know, gives a little opening agenda, talks about the, you know, what's on the docket for the community. They built this amazing playground just recently. They do a lot of great things in the community. Love it. Love it. Where are you appearing tomorrow, just for those that might want to? Wegmans, aisle five, <laughs> ice cream. 
<laughs> All right, Julie, thank you, and a fantastic job by Fowdy. We are we're lucky to have Julie Fowdy on board. Amen. Speaking of on board, Chance Rutherford draws a walk here in a 2 nothing game. That's important. They haven't had too many base runners, and it's the first time your leadoff hitter has been on. They're looking for a shutout inning. Chase Moak will hit. Huh. On the corner, strike one. South Dakota, Gavin Weir's team, although Gavin Weir won't pitch. They are the team waiting for the winner of this one in Saturday's championship. That's down, and off goes Rutherford. Good throw, close play, safe. Nice job, Andrew Naruki picked it up quick and threw a strike down to Gibson Turner. Just a hair late. We talked about that secondary, kind of come off three steps, and this time doesn't even break stride. Sees that ball get away just enough. Rutherford slides into that safety bag just in front of the tag. Moak, that is a great bunt. He goes to first. He beats it out. What a bunt. <laughs> Let's raise our hands in celebration as we cross first. That a boy, Chase. Best bunt we've seen all week. Well, perfect location, too, because their base is staying back. It's all about the pitcher being able to come across. And once it's down this line, because of the speed, no chance. He makes this look easy, but we've seen so many hitters try to bunt, try to get it down that line, and when they do. <laughs> Did you see Chase when he crossed first base? You got to give me another look at Chase as he crosses first base. It is tremendous. <laughs> like he broke the tape at first base and won the race. <laughs> hold on, everybody. Just calm, hold on, calm down. Watch my guy. Calm down. Listen. Got man the first Touchdown. Guys in the corner. All right. Field goal. We're hitting up here towards the middle. How are you feeling right now? Good. Feeling good? You're going to be able to hit some of these spots? Yeah? Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's give it another crack. Let's get out there. Go ahead and get after this guy right here. Team got your back. Defense, get his back. We're doing first and third play, right? Okay? No, pitcher, 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 pitcher. Let's go. So anticipating Chase Moak taking off, they will apparently throw the ball right back to the pitcher instead of throwing it down. Rutherford's at third, and here comes a threat. After giving up two, we're in the top of the fourth. Ohio trying to get some runs back. Gavin Saylor bats, and he looks at ball one, and Smoke not going, Moak not going anywhere. Tyler Vincent was a strike throwing machine to start this game. He hadn't given up a hit through the first two innings. Gave up a couple last inning. And now he's behind 3-0. I'm not sure how much longer Javier Chavez is going to go with Skyler Vincent. That's a four pitch walk and now the bases are loaded. So off the bench, you had Chase right. Moak with a bunt single, and now off the bench, Gavin Saylor with a walk. All right. We're good, guys. We're good. Hey, that's all I asked, bro. No problem. Check it out. I need you to go to go to center for me and bring X to third. It's like Dominic Galea is going to take the mound for California. Base is loaded for Ohio. Don't go anywhere. We got Dom, something cooking here at Lomity. I hate to I hate to put this for you right here. Championship Saturday, three of the four have already booked their reservation. Tom Seaver Championship 1230, Hank Aaron Championship. And we got a critical time in this game. Leading 2-0 California, but Ohio battling back. They have the bases loaded. South Dakota gets the winner of this one. 
12.30, the first game on Championship Saturday, Hawaii and Michigan in what should be a dynamite game. All right, so we got Dominic D'Elia on the mound. Two and two-thirds innings here, one hit, no runs, a walk, four case. They got the infield in here trying to cut off a run. And Tyler Dongis is now up with the bases loaded. How about that? First pitch, breaking ball, strike one. <clears throat> bases loaded, just come in the ball game. Spin one. There you go, here's a spinner for strike one. Rutherford is the runner at third. And another. That's a little low, one ball, one strike. Navarro has come in from center, he's the third baseman. Gibson Turner stays at short. Isaac Moore has been really good at second, by Cornette at first. Next one, fastball, he got him swinging there. One ball, two strikes. Nobody out. Tough spot for Dominic D'Elia on the mound. Of course, the infield fly rule in effect with nobody out and the bases loaded. Pull that, gets to the backstop. Here comes Rutherford. Boy, that's a two-strike mistake right there for Dominic D'Elia. Everybody moves up and a run is in. So a wild pitch makes it two to one. Still nobody out, two, two. Strike three to Dungus. First run for Ohio against California in a game and a half, basically. They were shut out nine zip. They get their first one now. After missing off the plate, one that went all the way to the backstop, comes back with a fastball up a part of the zone. Big strikeout right there. Still just one out. Then tie and run, standing 60 feet away. So Brady Bauman, Cooper Odin yet to hit. They go with Cooper Clay here. He's the eighth hole hitter, grounded out to short his first time up, and that one is away, 1-0. and oh. Out of play. Chase Moak is just bouncing around over there at third base. He's the kid that had that perfect punt, put his arms up like he'd won a race when he crossed first, and he's anxious down there at third. Come on in. Two and one to Clay, and that's going to get out of play. Another breaking pitch. Amazing how comfortable these kids are throwing a breaking ball. Looks like he's maybe more comfortable throwing the breaking ball than he is the fastball. I agree. I mean, a decent indication his base is loaded. Come into the ball game, first pitch is a breaking ball. That time goes right back to it in a down count. Twelve years old, Galea ready. Fastball on the corner. Good pitch. Strikes out Cooper Clay, and now there are two away here well, in the fourth. It makes that one that much better. If you can spin the breaking ball when you want to, then he comes back and throws a fastball, and it's harder to pull the trigger. This was in a great spot. Fastball outside half of the plate. Just locked up Cooper Clay. That's now back-to-back -back strikeouts since Dominic Galea has come into this ballgame. Now here comes Crew Brown. The crouton had a hit his first time up, right back up the middle. Would love to do that again, but he's behind 0-1 as Galea works quickly. On the mound, he gets his sign and he goes. Breaking pitch, and he's working beautifully now. He's ahead 0 2. Time down, here we come. Got him swinging, wow. It's like somebody plugged in Dominic D'Elia <laughs> after that hit. He went 100 watt cheese and breaking pitches, strikes out three in a row. MLS double header. We got the TV set up right in the courtyard. We get set for a little Kyle Peterson grill. We'll be able to watch 6:30 the Ohio showdown between Columbus and Cincinnati, and then Florida. That matchup between Orlando City and Miami. That'll be the desserts. That's right. Both matches available on ESPN Deportes and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. You got it. I don't have to worry about director Scott Johnson belly aching about the undercooked meat. So we're in good shape. Nope. Little Friday off here at the Little League World Series after we started last Thursday. Gone every day between two, four, 
games a day. Off day tomorrow. That's the rain day in case it had rained, but we are apparently going to get through half that day off Friday. We'll see what the weekend weather brings. Big swing from Gavin Crew, who's into the game. So each team's got a crew. We got a crew Brown on Hawaii, on Ohio, and now Gavin Crew for California. He lays down a really Beautiful. good bunt, and he beats it out. Whoa, look out, and then he wipes out. He hit the bag at first. Crossed the finish line, though, won the race, and he's safe at first. How about the bunts tonight? Well, this one, look at where he makes contact with it. It's off the end. This is understanding because it's the last two inches, it just dies. Just right there in front of third base, and he doesn't even run super fast. It's not like he's got wheels. It's just the execution. That is okay, <laughs> Hitting the bag a little hard. We're fine. Just got to make sure we don't throw that bat at the ball when he bunts it. Well, I mean, you guys know this. These bats are hot. Like, they're they're good bats. You hit the barrel, sometimes you get a bunt and it's a double. Dyson Miyake will bat now. Yes, and yes, yes he, he did. Is. That's strike number one. Miyake will mean every California hitter that has had to get in the game will have gotten in. Way outside. Okay. Noah Davidson came on in relief. Chance Rutherford. Rutherford now in left. Davidson has pitched very well. And the 1 1. Ball low. Pulled down, and it's quite easy to identify. Brian Rounds does not give you that pitch down, but you throw it up and around the plate. It's a good strike zone. Also better for hitters. <laughs> Get it up. That's what they want too. I'll tell you this: so Maddox Jones's catcher has done a good job. There's a lot of catchers that, that go as far back as they possibly can in that catcher's box. He gets pretty close to the hitter, and that's when you can steal some of those lower strikes because it does look a little bit better to the home plate umpire. Three and one. Ball nope. Ball. Ball four, and just like that, after they got a run, Julia, they got two men on. Hey, I have Crew Brown's parents with me, Shannon and Nick, and I know that there's families juggling a lot, but let's just talk about your situation. Crew is one of six boys. Yes, I said six. Four of them are here, two of them are at home. I bow to you. How do you both do it? Um, hour by hour. D day by day <laughs> is how we survive. And at this point, I'm not sure we're even surviving anymore. <laughs> And uh, by the way, this is Shannon who played soccer at UNC Charlotte. We talked about Cruz saying that mom would crush me, um, <laughs> which I loved. And you and you would, I said for the record. Nick, you also played at Robert Morris. In basketball, not baseball, though, correct? So you've been going back and forth, though, because two are at home, right? Yeah, we have one in, uh, playing uh, football on Friday nights and soccer during the week. So we go back and forth and youth football on Saturdays and seven and a half hours. It's, we love each other. <laughs> Just a cool seven and a half hours. <laughs> and how has this experience been for you so far? Amazing, amazing. I am so blessed that we have gotten to, crew has gotten to experience this. It's been an amazing experience and awesome. Even going back seven and a half hours more than once. Impressive. I bow to you both. Well, thank you. Julie, thanks. So first and second now. And a bunt, a little hard to the pitcher. He looks around, goes to third. He finally found Noah Davidson. Brady Bauman was over there, and he's able to cut down the lead run. He, he looked at first, then second. They said, yeah. I, I still got an opportunity at third. Still had enough time. This is this is really well defended right now because first, when you know you get a bunt, you got to make your pitch. But then the shortstop Cooper Clay is breaking. So Brady Bauman, the third baseman, charges. The shortstop Cooper Clay has one place to go on that. Third baseman vacates. He goes to third. Was there in plenty of time, and even though he looked at the other two bases yep. first, yep. still enough time to spin, go to third, and get the lead run. Grant Hayes, careful here. This is spinning towards second. Tough play, no play. Everybody stays. Bases are loaded. That one kept moving away from Gage Maggard. Had a ton of spin on it, unable to pick it up, and the bases are loaded. What a chance now for California and Gibson Turner. I think that was one of those that was off the end of the bat.
spin in a bunch of different ways by the time I got out to Gage Maggard, the second baseman. We're thinking, yeah, we are going to special pinch runner on first. What a spot for Gibson Turner, the three hitter. He walked, he singled, he scored. And the infield is in, so very difficult. Because when Gibson hit it, it tends to be hit hard. 2-1, another huge spot in this game. And starts him off, of course, with a breaking pitch. Strike one. Dyson Miyake's gone in to run at third base. Miyake's at third and down there at first base is Perez. Pitch to Turner. Gets that call on the corner. 0-2. Oh, Tough pitch. Oh, it got him. Big strike out there. Noah Davidson sends Gibson Turner back to the bench. Even though Noah Davidson's not out throwing 72, 73 miles an hour, he still trusts this one. He still trusts the fastball. The breaking ball makes that fastball just a little bit better through the breaking ball. Early, comes back with a fastball late. Big strikeout with the bases loaded, one out. So now two down for Andrew Narukia. I'll tell you, Kyle, this is a little different looking offense than what we saw yeah. in the regional. They were hitting everything. And Naruki was in the middle of a lot of it. Ball That's ball one. <laughs> Naruki, and that is smothered over there in second. Flip it. What a play! Gage Maggard. Diving stop, went into slow motion, but he lifted to Cooper Clay in time. About the second baseman. We've talked about him the entire time. Base is loaded. Gage Maggard. Go get it. Backhand, plenty of time. Plenty of time to flip to Cooper Clay. And we lose him loaded. To the fifth, we got a good one. A great night in South Williamsport. It's 2-1 California, Ohio yeah. coming up. Baby getting all excited. They yes. know a good play when we see one. That's right. That's my baby. The Little League World Series on ESPN is presented by T-Mobile, the leader in 5G. Well, what an outstanding play Gage Magger just made. May have saved the game. Ball gets through. You're scoring two. Diving to his right, flipping in time to Cooper Clay. Give me the second baseman all day long. Give it a boy. Way to go, Gage. Just to get to this. I mean, this ball was hit hard. It gets stuck underneath him and gets rid of it just in time. Get out of that glove. Get off of me. Well, back on the mound, Dominic Galea. Getting late here now. We go to the fifth inning, 2-1. Well-played game. He just struck out the last three that he faced. Heading down to the bullpen. Some more arms to get ready. Ready, Bauman. Number seven, bats now for Ohio. No swing. Ball one. 4-11-91 for Brady. Well, good enthusiasm over there. That Ohio sideline there into it. Everybody's standing here in the fifth of a 2-1 game. Get on your feet for the That's last right. play. Carry it into the bats. That's the idea. So when you were pitching and a kid did that, did that focus you more or did you lose concentration? When I was little, yeah, you lost a little bit of focus, okay. yeah, because it just looks weird. Okay. And they get like, oh, I'm sure that's why, nuts, that's why they do it. As you get older, you don't really think about it anymore, but I, I did it this age. 3-1, three, 3-2. Three and two. Nope, 
That's a ball, and BB hits the first after a walk. Greenlight is more than a debit card. It's a time saver, a teacher, a safety net. It's how millions of kids and teens learn about money every day and invest for the long term. Greenlight, it's the money app for families. Here we go with Levi Smith. Leadoff man aboard, first pitch. That's his best pitch. Oh, and one. Mm, way out in front of that one. His curveball has been really good. Well, and the different depths that he'll throw it, he'll pop it in there for a strike, and he gets one that's just absolutely, you're not going to touch this one. Usually means a fastball's coming. Hey, this too. Andrew Naruki has been really good behind the plate. Doesn't move a lot. Just stops everything. Setting up high. That's too low. Two balls, two strikes. Didn't hit his spot. So Bauman at first, and the breaking pitch misses. Dominic Galea. A little different pace from the end of the last inning where he was getting it and going. Struck out three in a row. Gets the call. Wow. Three. Levi Smith was ready to throw the bat back and head to first, but instead, a strikeout is called. It's a big one, especially when you get up 0-2. 0-2 count goes all the way back to 3-2 and goes back to that fastball on the outside part of the plate. Just got enough of it for strike three. Well, big J.J. Vogel has been held in check. He walked in the first, struck out in inning number three. New baseball to the pitcher, Galea. See what happens after that strikeout. Last time he struck out a kid, he then struck out the next two real quickly. Outfield and center, very deep. Skyler Vincent, that's down. Two balls, no strikes. And that's a call he wants. The knees, and when you get a big hitter like J.J. Vogel, you don't want to bring it up much more than that. No, and you got to be careful because he tends to throw a curveball here. You hang one, and Vogel has the chance to bang one. That was nice. a quicker one. And he swung and missed. Two balls and a strike. A little more velocity on that one. He can manipulate that. I don't know if he does it on purpose. <laughs> it's just a natural way that he throws it. I think I was about 20 years old when I threw my first 2-0 curveball. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, I, he just threw a 2-0 breaking ball like there's nothing to it. Bowls that one. Three balls and a strike. J.J. Vogel, best hitter on this Ohio team. Five foot eight, 150. Big kid, a lot of power. Down two to one in this game, top five. Didn't take it, and it's a ball four. Two walks in the inning, and now two on. California living a little dangerously here. Ohio's had a bunch of base runners the last couple of innings. Had him loaded last half. Two on for Chance Rutherford. Well, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Brian. <laughs> All right, I guess. Well, like an umpire that encourages pace. Rutherford, fair ball, down the line and right, flying around, first runner scores, second runner is in safely. Rutherford to third with a triple. J.J. Vogel was running so quick, I'm not sure that he even stepped on third base. Not sure anyone else saw that, but Vogel was sprinting. And that triple gives Ohio a 3-2 lead. First pitch swinging, and I like it. I think Ohio's a much better hitting team when they're aggressive. Early in the count, Rutherford was there. It's a triple to score two. Does he get third base? Vogel, did he get the heel? I don't know. He didn't even flinch if he missed it. <laughs> he didn't, know. He wasn't stopping. He was a runaway train at that point. 
Big hit for Rutherford. Infield in. Strike number one to Chase Moat. Said California was living dangerously, and Ohio takes advantage here with that big hit. Here's what's crazy, though. Levi Cornett playing first base, and he, I mean, he is this close to catching it, stepping on first, inning over. Yeah. It's that big of a difference between Ohio having a lead and California still having a lead going to the bottom half of this inning. Galea, again, seemed to work a little quicker there, and he picked up another strikeout. He's got five of those. I like it after the triple, too. I mean, he didn't get flustered. I mean, trying to three straight strikes. But it felt like 45 seconds. He sure did. That's a big run down there at third. Rutherford leading by one, top of the fifth. And Noah Davidson has been so good in relief. Swings into left. That's a huge RBI single. Rutherford is in. They lead by two. Noah Davidson's having a game. Pitcher helping yourself out. When did he swing early? Getting after those strikes early in the count. This is when we've seen Ohio have success. They struggled early in this tournament. When they get aggressive early in counts, they don't allow a pitcher like Aaliyah to get ahead. This is what they do. Hey, hey, you're doing a great job. Pick your head up, Don. Pick your head up. The team still needs you right now. Let's go. Get the third. We got this. Let's go. Dominic Dalia is going to third base. His buddy Xavier Navarro coming in to pitch. Welcome back. Ohio scores one in the fourth, three more here in the fifth, and lead by two. Everyone, our coverage of the Little League World Series is presented by T Mobile. How about Ohio's comeback tonight? They get one in the fourth, three big ones here. They forced another pitching change. Xavier Navarro now in. We got Davidson down at first, Gage Maggard, who made that great defensive play. And that was a huge defensive play. Think about that, how important that was to change the game. Kept California at two. Off speed, bounces, gets away. Caleb Harden has come on as a pinch runner, heads down to second base. Two down, 1-1. One, one. Yep, off speed pitch in there for a strike. One ball, two strikes, guys. He's not a slow down in X here. He'll no. get it, he, he goes. There is no wasting time right here. He welcomes the ball, hit right back to him. Really good fielder. There you go. Throws a spinner, and he gets out of that. But Ohio rallies. Buckeyes gave him a shout out today. And the red on the third base side, celebrating a lead. Who's this about? Is it the parents or the kids? I, I get confused sometimes. May as well all enjoy it. Ohio 4, California 2. How about that triple down the line. Rutherford, huge. Skylar Vincent gave you three innings, three hits, a run, four Ks, three walks. And the big number there on the bottom for California. They've had chances, man. Two for 12 with runners in scoring position. Seven left on base. Got some folks in Ohio watching this one. Good tweet there from Stephen Michael Blunt, who said, hey, Carl, here's a picture of the Hamilton, Ohio's 93 team. Uh, we played the first game under the lights. That was in 93. He also said, we held California's Sean Burrows to 16 strikeouts in an 8-0 loss. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been more. It Could have been more. I will tell you. Uh, that's beautiful. First game under the lights, Burrows strikes out 16. Hamilton Little Leaguers in an 8 nothing. We held them to 16. Here we go, bottom five. Noah Davidson hurls another one. And this ball is down the line, but it's going to go foul and no catch for Rutherford down the line. Levi Cornett 
We're at the number five spot in the order for California. So they get one or two on. You're going to see the top of the order come back up. Been very quiet California no offense. one strike play. Had some runners. They just haven't really pounded the ball. We saw that in the regional. They were a really good hitting team. The biggest difference I've seen, I saw it in Ohio flip that switch and they scored two runs. We've seen them take a lot more than what I'm used to. They, this is an aggressive swinging yeah. team. 1-1. One, one. There you go. That one is down the line, and it's going to get off the screen. There's something, Rob, when you're just in swing mode. Like, we talk about swagger, confidence, but when you're just thinking, I can hit anything, and you might not. And I think that's where Gavin Weir, he's going to got weird, because for them, they, they, got, they got no hit. Yep. And I think then you get in your head a little bit. Start taking pitches. No question. One ball, two strikes. Play. One ball, two strikes to Cornette. Better. He fouls that one off, stays alive. 42 pitches for Noah Davidson. Coach says, get it up a little bit. See if he listens on a 1 2. And a lot more of that tonight, too. Stepping out of the box. Yeah. One and two, hanging out over the plate. And he fouls off for another one. Four foul balls off the bat of number nine. That's better. That one is towards the line. Nice running catch, Chance Rutherford. Covers a lot of ground with those long legs of his, and he ran it down. Not defensively that where they were playing him in the outfit. And I think some of it is just because of those last few swings. So you see that he's trying to go the other way. If they're playing straight up in the outfield, that ball's in the corner. But instead, Chance Retha for the left fielder was pinched toward that left field line and made what would not have been an easy play look fairly straightforward right there. Baby's still fired up. Why not? On point. It's <laughs> Dominic Galea. Good breaking ball. He had Delia leaning back. He broke right over the plate. The Dominator trying to get it started here for California. On the ground, shortstop. Clay is going to have to hurry, and he does, to get Delia by a step. Two up, two down. Good start to Noah Davidson's inning. Hey, Little League Sandlot Fun Day sounds like a great idea. It's a player-led, unstructured opportunity for local Little League programs. Basically, you give them the bats, the balls, kids make the rules, make the lineups, make the calls. Just let them play. Learn more today, littleleague.org slash Sandlot Fun Days. Kind of a crazy idea. It's the way it once was. Huh. I love it. Just let them play. We'll figure it out. Next up, Skyler Vincent. Yes, sir. That breaking pitch has been really good. Rutherford to Davidson. It's been a good formula for Ohio as they try to advance to the championship game. Both these teams runners up in their respective regions. The Great Lakes, Ohio, the West, California. It's just a different looking California club than we saw in San Bernardino. Not crisp. Ball by Skyler Vincent. Noah Davidson, have yourself a relief appearance. Ohio's three outs away from moving on to the championship game. A lot of it's because of this right arm right here. Came on, has kept it right where it was. Offense added in the fifth to the sixth, and Hamilton leads it 5 2. Football Sunday night series finale Yankees A's at the Coliseum. 
Lane in Oakland on ESPN. Deportes, the ESPN app. One app and one tap. Our coverage starts 6 Eastern Baseball tonight, Sunday night countdown. Yankees just in the habit of not losing, which is terrific for New York fans. They are 74 and 52 when the night begins. They are 10 and 0 in their last 10. They have won 11 overall in a row. Still chasing down the race. Oakland leading the wild card race. And the Red Sox currently in action and ahead of the Twins 5 to 2 on Chris Sale pitching night. That's in there for a strike. No balls, two strikes. Cooper play. Xavier Navarro's goal here. Let's just get back to the dugout in a 4-2 game. Early call on that pitch because it appeared to cut right across the plate in the strike zone. The Brian Rounds likes it. One ball, two strikes. Jam shot down to third. He was slow out of the box. He slipped. And as a result, an easy play for Dominic Keep your head out of the box If you don't fall, bro. Keep your head up. Third. <laughs> Back tire went out, and the front tire hit the dish. We're all right, buddy. We got a two-run lead. We're all right. We got to may have another one to play. Ha! We got to hold them where we're at. The crouton, crew brown. Walk low. <laughs> Umpires love it when you pause before you throw it back. Wait, no. Okay. The catcher balk. A lot of folks got a chance to watch us earlier. Our home plate umpire in 102 degree temperature. Went down to a knee. His name is Chris Rutz. And people have asked how he's doing. He is fine. He's back in the hotel room. Knock on wood. He's got some fluids in him. In a much better temperature. And he's okay. Volunteer umpires all here. All of them have uh, been here before, too. This is one of those years in which Little League decided, you know what, we got guys that know what this is all about. We brought them back. And Chris is doing okay, which is a sigh of relief for everybody that got a chance to see it. Never fun to see anybody dealing with type of heat issues, and he was. All ready for the 3-2 to crew from Xavier Navarro. Foul that off. So crew, by the way, the five siblings are Aiden, Rowan, Declan, Cash, and Lennox. 16, 14, 13, 10, and 8. Soccer mom, same name as Bowdy's son, Declan. No wonder they're best friends already. Best buddies. They've enjoyed this game a lot. Crew had that single. Like an athlete, doesn't he? You get all those brothers around you, too. You have to kind of <laughs> survival. Survive. <laughs> what are we doing now? Sure, I'm in. 3 2 again. That one to first. That ball gets into right. He slipped, too. They got a chance to get him. And out at first. He slipped the same way that Cooper Clay did. And he is thrown out by Brandon Perez. What's going on with the home plate area that two guys have both slipped and fallen. It's the same way too, the left foot. Left foot just spun. I don't know if it's just really dry or two of them just didn't get the spike in there and that throw definitely beat him. Got it by a half step. And it looked to be a single off the bat as another out right here. I, I will tell you this with 100% certainty. There is not a little league field in the country that is better that no. is better prepared 100% than this one. And, and you may have two kids in a row spin their wheels, but this place looks perfect every year. Yeah, that's that's just maybe a strange, bad coincidence. It's not as if there's anything slippery about that dirt, but that left foot just slipped right on it. A little granular for sure. We had thunder, lightning. We didn't have any rain, though. A little bit. Yeah, just for a minute. 
Swing and a miss there from Cooper Oden, who bats with two down. California down by two. They'll have eight, nine, and then to the top of the order. And this one to second. No slip out of the box, but an easy one for Isaac Mora. Now, will the offense be able to get anything going for California? Javier Chavez tries to fire the crew up. They need a couple. Defensive play of the night made by that guy right there. Gage Maggard, outstanding diving play to his right. Ended a California rally. Hawaii and Michigan, Saturday, 3.30 Eastern time. The Hank Aaron bracket on the other side. South Dakota awaits the winner of this one. Will it be Ohio? He's got a two-run lead for California. The story of this Little League World Series has been that kid right there, Gavin Weir, the lefty. He's really been the story of the Entire season for the kids from South Dakota. Back to back performances in which he gave you five and two thirds of no hit ball. The no hitter was then completed, and he can do that too. When he was pulled, his coach said, I just need to hit a lot of home runs. <laughs> Here on out. Have some fun, Gavin Weir. Atta boy. They're laughing at him, they're enjoying it. <laughs> he is 12, which is great to see. Elias Emerson will lead things off. California needs runs. And Elias didn't seem too interested in that pitch. Strike one. Lead off hitter so critical in the sixth inning. Bottom half. Holly Turner, Wayne Cornett, the coaches, along with Javier Chavez. Gets the call. It's a tough pitch, and Emerson is in a hole one and two. Noah Davidson's dad yelling encouragement to the pitcher who's been special. There's a strikeout. He pumps his fist. Emerson retired. Davidson, another strikeout. He's got half dozen. They did go right after him right there. Throws his fastball with a ton of conviction. Every time that he throws it, you can see he's trying to throw it right through his catcher's glove. That time it ended up there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, and that one the first of the sixth inning. Isaac Mora, the number nine hitter, digs in. Starts him off with a little breaking pitch, which he's done all night long since he's come on in relief and gets ahead. No balls, one strike. Defense behind him has been terrific. Yes, he did. He offered it back, and it's now 0-2. Oh, Davidson has thrown 72% of his pitches for strikes. Tried to get more to chase here. No, that's down a little bit. Has been all night. Close pitch, but to the credit of the umpire, he's been very consistent. That's not in Brian Round's wheelhouse. One and two. That's now two and two. The winner moves on to the championship game against South Dakota, the Tom Seaver bracket. That ball is going to get into right, and there'll be no play at first. So now the tying run comes to the plate. How about Isaac Moore, the number nine yeah. hitter, delivering a clutch hit? And, and starting after it's 0-2. So he tries to bunt early, gets in an 0-2 count, and then right there gets a fastball on the outside part of the plate. You're just looking for base runners. And honestly, I think in this inning, you're just trying to get Grant Hayes to the plate. 
Grant Hayes should hit next. If you get Grant Hayes to the plate, at a minimum, one swing could tie. Xavier Navarro with the third baseman, Brady Bauman, in on the grass. All night long, he's throwing that first pitch breaking ball in for a strike. See if he does that if Hayes gets up. Double play will end it. One ball, one strike. Hardest outs to get any level in a baseball or softball game, the last three. Navarro slow roll to Maggard. He will go to first. Good play. Smart play. He picks up the big out. Now first base open, but two down. What do you do here, Kyle? You got a big fella up. Do you walk him or you pitch to him? You no, put I the would, I winning would, run at the plate. I would pitch to him because of what you what you got behind him, too. Gibson Turner can hit it out. Maruki can hit it out. I mean, the, the, from a power standpoint, the best three hitters that California has are coming in succession now. Grant Hayes, two home runs here in Williamsport. Lined right up the middle. Fielded quickly and fired back in. Hayes hit that hard, didn't elevate it enough, but boy, was that hit hard. And now, runners on the corners. A little life for California in the bottom of the sixth. Big man swinging early, gets that front foot down, the breaking ball, and he's ready for it. There's been a consistent yep. pattern. Conversation in the dugout, and definitely for Grant Hayes, is I'm going to sit on this pitch. I know it's coming. It's so hard. He's only a couple feet out of the batter's box. Brandon Perez replaces Hayes on the bases. And again, a good hitter, Gibson Turner. See what happens on that first pitch if he goes to that curveball again. Isaac Moore is down there at third. It is anxious time here. This one to center, going back, Brown, playable, makes the catch, and Ohio knocks off California 4-2. to They advance to the championship game against South Dakota. <laughs> and that is a very happy group. Hamilton Westside Little League moves into a championship game on Saturday and Torrance California season comes to an end. Defense was the difference. They were dynamite tonight. And Rob, what I love about them being in the same bracket, this is an Ohio team that lost to California 9-0 on Sunday. They get a chance to play him again in a great game and a big win. About the job that Noah Davidson did. Coming on the mound in relief, 64 pitches for Noah Davidson, and he'll end up the winner. A ball that off the bat of Gibson Turner when it was hit, it looked like it may have a chance to find a home. But the home that it found was right in Pure Brown's glove. He was fine with it, arms extended. We've seen that somewhere else earlier today, and Ohio plays on. Davidson was dynamite in relief. He struck out six. He was able to navigate through the big hitters. And how about the reaction of Crew Brown in center field? We've seen a lot of arms raised by these kids from Ohio. And now they get a shot at South Dakota. Ohio has not played South Dakota. Coming up as we head into the college football season, the OHIO. And it has made its way to Lombardy in the Little League World Series. Final four of the 2021 Little League season, Hawaii and Michigan, South Dakota and Ohio. We'll start things Saturday at 12.30 Eastern time. Enjoy Friday, folks. Got a soccer doubleheader. Kyle Peterson, Jessica Mendoza, Julie Foudy. In the truck, Scott Gustafson, welcome to Williamsport. Good to have you.